It's your girl Angie B on the beat with the latest entertainment news and we are here at Essence Fest. There's so much going on. There's so many different activities. We're getting ready to head to a panel in just a second. We'll send you some pictures from that. Make sure you're staying tuned into Angie B on the beat with the latest entertainment news. We'll be back. I talked to Chico Bean about this earlier. You guys said, well, he said that Vegas was the livest show. Talk about Vegas. Scott, we are so excited to have you. You came to FAMU maybe a year ago. Um, and we're just excited because you have a little discussion going on with the FAMU students. So tell us how you are, how have you been doing? You're a FAMU School of Journalism graduate mm -hmm. um, and you're an Emmy nominated actress as well. And I want to talk about your transition from becoming um, a journalist to an actress. How has that been? It's your girl Angie B on the beat with the latest entertainment news. And we are here with my all time favorite couple, the Ellis's. Y'all are hilarious as <laughs> always. And I just love how you guys always keep and authentic and still sexy. How do you guys manage to do that? <laughs> now, most of you guys have started from social media, which I really, really love because that's a really huge platform that people have been using to make it, especially you, Visa Morn, and also UDC Young Fly. So, can you talk about how these um, aspiring millennials are trying to, you know, uh, be upcoming on social media? Talk about the best way to do that. It's your girl Angie B on the beat with the latest entertainment news, and we are here with Chad Ocho Cinco. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Good, good, good. How y'all doing? Call me if you need me. <laughs> We are here at 40 Yards of Gold. Now, Chad is a part of this. He's hosting it, which we're really excited about. What are your expectations for this event? It's your girl, Angie B. on the beat, and we are back at the 23rd Annual American Black Film Festival at the Comedy Wings Competition, 2019 edition. We you know that JT is away right now. We want to know how you're feeling. We know this is a sensitive topic, but mm -hmm. we want to know how you're doing, how you're feeling. You are also very open with discussing your relationship. And how is that? Can you tell us a little bit about how it is managing your relationship, being so busy, you know, always booked, and being in a healthy relationship? Okay. Now, how did you guys even come up with this idea to be matchmakers? You know, everyone loves relationships. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how, when things were going on in your relationships, that made you guys kind of grow closer mm -hmm. with each other. Yes. Well, you guys' first platform was on social media, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, and that's how you guys are here today. So we want to talk about the power of social media. Yes. Truly. It's your girl Angie B on the beat with the latest entertainment news. And we are here at the 2019 American Black Film Festival, day five. We're about to do the showing of See You Yesterday, a Netflix film and a Spike Lee joint. So we're super excited. He's about to be in the building. We're going to get a wonderful interview from him. And it's going to be a wonderful way to wrap up the 2019 American Black Film Festival. We'll see you guys later stay tuned to Angie B on the beat.